Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a Twin Flames Universe Live. I'm Drake, and today we're going to be talking about a lot of topics. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about what to do if your Twin Flame isn't talking to you and all these other wonderful things. Ah, so your Twin Flame isn't talking to you. Okay, so we, we can talk about that. If you guys don't already know, your Twin Flame is you. But just in another body. But you're the, you're the same consciousness, and you share the same consciousness. So whatever your Twin Flame is doing to you, or you, the, any upsets you're experiencing with your twin flame is really just because of the fact that they're pointing to something within your consciousness, your shared consciousness, right? And so if your twin flame isn't talking to you, they're just directly pointing to you where within yourself, you are not talking to yourself. Where you're not communicating with yourself, where you are, could be ignoring yourself. You're ignoring your intuition. It's it's any place within your consciousness that you're blocking communication. And what you can do to help you identify these blocks is the mirror exercise. And if you don't know what the mirror exercise is, it's the number one tool that you can use to heal twin flame separation. Uh, you can find the link in our bio and you can find the link in a description um, of the mirror exercise. So like I said, it's really just about being present with yourself too and going, okay, where, where could I not be communicating with myself? Where am I not communicating with my creator, right? You could do that also. Yeah, if you're, so this is a funny thing too, right? If you're, if you're saying, oh, I don't want to talk to my twin flame or I don't, I don't want to do this or do that, your twin flame will be doing the same exact thing. And so it's funny because if you're sitting there waiting for your twin flame to text you, they're going to say the same thing. You know, I tried to do this too, where I was like, Ah, I'll just wait for my twin flame to text me. I'm not going to text her. I'm not going to communicate with her, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then when, <laughs> when I did that, I didn't get anything, right? There was no progress. There was no, nothing being made, right? And then when I chose it, I just said, hey, I, I'm going to just sort of talk to my twin flame. I'm going to reach out and do it. And she talked to me. We had a really nice conversation. But if you're waiting to do something, so are they. Like, you're not separate from that. So if you, if you are experiencing <clears throat> separation on your twin flame journey, it's okay. Um, it's not a normal thing, right? Separation with your twin flame is not normal and you should never accept separation in your union. Um, it's something that we all have to work through. Okay. And the reason why we go through separation is because we're experiencing separation somewhere within ourselves. And so when we choose to heal that separation within ourselves, right, where we feel separate from love and from our creator, then you will begin to attract your union back to you and you won't be in separation from your twin flame. But I remember that Jeff and Shalia, they said, you know, the, the reason, the only reason why we're in separation is because we believe in it, right? And because we're, we're choosing that in some way, we're choosing to see that we're separate from love. So if you have this belief within you, right, maybe you're, you see yourself that separate from love or you see yourself uh, as separate from your twin flame, yes, you may be experiencing separation, but you can heal it. There's always a way to heal separation. You never ever have to settle for being in separation with your twin flame. Uh, that's not, no, it's not nice. It feels bad, right? You guys all know how bad separation feels and you don't have to experience it, thank God. So the first step to ending separation is by choosing to heal it. It is by choosing to take the spiritual journey on healing, healing your whole life, not just your twin flame union, right? When you take on the twin flame path, the twin flame journey, you are choosing to change your whole entire life because the twin flame journey is so much more about being with your perfect partner, right? It's about being with your divine self. It's about being with all of yourself and every single aspect of your life. So it's with your life purpose. It's with, uh, you know, your house, every, everything, right? Everything around you, you get to have and it gets to be perfect for you. And so the way you heal separation, right, is by doing the mirror exercise. I know we just talked about the, the mirror exercise, but let's get deeper into that. Uh, because the mirror exercise is really all that you need. It's really all that you need. Because it's going to help you identify where within you you're feeling separate. Where you're feeling separate from love. Just like I talked about before. Um, and if you guys are new here and you guys um, are still trying to figure out this work, definitely go to the link in our bio and please just check out the free introductory course. It's free. It's eight lessons. It's going to teach you exactly everything you need to know about getting started on the twin flame journey. It's going to have you write some things down, answer some questions. Um, it gets you really thinking and like where you're at, hide your spiritual path right now. And so it's not to worry if you 
are experiencing the illusion of separation right now. You're not going to be in separation forever. Uh, I promise. All you need to do is choose to heal the separation that you're in now and know that when you choose to heal separation, you're automatically attracting your union towards you. You're already saying yes. You're saying yes, I choose my union. And by you saying yes and choosing your union, you can have it. Anything that you desire and you choose it, you will have it. Okay. Desires aren't just in your heart for, you know, oh, blah, blah, blah. It's because I want it. It's no, it's because you were created with this. You're created with the desire. So if you're created with your twin flame and the desire to be with them, it's for you. It's not for some select people. And I promise I'm being so serious. If you really do do this work and you commit to it fully, you will have your union. You will. It's not something that uh, you will not have. You will have it. It's completely possible. And, and I see it time and time again, right? We see it. If you guys are in the Facebook forum or if you guys, um, if you're not, go in the Facebook forum because you will see all like the Indians there. You will see their stories. You know, there's, and there were people that were married before. There were people that were, have age gaps. There's unions that they've lived across the country from each other. There's unions that don't even, you didn't even know anything, you know, like, you know, Morgan is an example here. I've, I've worked with Morgan for a long time through a lot of stuff and she has her union now and she's been here for like four years, I think. So there's no need to worry. It doesn't matter if you've been doing the work for two years or two months, uh, you will have it and you just got to be patient. You have to be patient. Okay, guys, don't, don't look at, oh, I've been doing the work for so long and nothing's happening. That is what you will experience. You will experience nothing happening. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes to have your union because it's worth it. It's worth everything that you have to go through. Okay. If, if my union took 10 years, like I had to do the spiritual work to be in my union, like if it took 10 years, I don't care. I don't care how long it takes. I want it and I choose it. Okay. And it's, it doesn't matter either because when you get it, you're going to be like, oh my God, um, this was so worth it. You know, when, when you are, when you are in, for example, right, when you're experiencing physical union, it's not that you don't already have it, right? You already have your union, but when you're there, you're going to be like, it's going to, it's so worth it. And even spending like 10 years with your twin flame, this, that time is worth it alone. So don't give up. Don't give up if you've been doing the work for two years, keep going. Imagine where you're going to be at in five years. You know, even if, even if your union with your twin flame is not really changing that quickly, there's going to be other places in your life that change too. This work isn't just for your twin flame union. It's for your whole life. It's for your whole entire life. And so your whole life changes in you choosing your union with your twin flame. Well, you feel like your life is in shambles when you surrendered. It's because when you surrender, you are releasing anything that doesn't serve you. So you're probably just going through a lot of upheaval. I mean, that's okay. Uh, you know, control doesn't get you anything. So when you surrender, you allow everything to flow. And so maybe the flow right now is you just releasing things, releasing things that key point here are not serving you. Whatever you release, whatever you let go of, like if things leave your life, if, if something shifts, it just means it's not for you. It's not in alignment with your divine self. And that's okay. It's okay because you don't want things in your life that are not aligned with your divine self, right? Well, if your twin flame is angry at you, it doesn't matter. My twin flame gets angry at me sometimes. It's not a big deal. You can have them work through their upset. But have them work through the upset. You're not responsible for their upset. But why does it feel like this connection is only possible through God? Because it is. It is only possible through God. God created you with your twin flame. God created your twin flame for you. And so if you don't have a connection with God, it's, it's very hard to be in your union with your twin flame because of the simple fact that your twin flame, like the love that you receive from them is God's love. And so you could say that God is your twin flame. And that, I mean, it's the truth. Like he is, God is, creator is, source is, right? Whatever you like to say, but there's no twin flame without God. <laughs> so if you have some upsets with God or the universe or source, maybe it's time to work on those uh, and time to get clear on what you're upset about and how you feel and move through that. And when you move through that, you will also find your twin flame union improving too. Because any upset that you have in your union really is just an upset with God. It's just an upset with God. And the more that you realize that, the more that you recognize that, the easier it is for you to come into union and for you to be in that union consciousness. But without, without including God, it, there's really nothing. So yes, 
Uh, like I said before, if you have upsets with that, then it would be time to work through them uh, and get very clear because God is the one that brings you your twin flame. You don't bring yourself your twin flame. It's a gift from God. It's God's gift to you, right? You're so special. You're so loved. You're so adored by God that he has a twin flame just for you, a perfect person just for you. So twin flames, um, they, I mean, they maybe can recognize each other at the instant. You know, for, for me, I didn't really recognize my twin flame uh, in the beginning. I didn't know who she was. Uh, I, I mean, I, like I knew her. I physically knew her, but my soul didn't. I didn't have an idea. But the more that I spent time with her, the more that I went through this journey, right, and this process, because there is a revealing process for your your twin flame. I knew, I knew, and I said, yeah, like this person is my twin flame. And I know that because my heart recognizes it. You know, that's, it's kind of the way that you know who your twin flame is, your heart knows first. And all you're doing is allowing yourself for that to be revealed. And so it may be the person that you're seeing, it may not be, and that's okay. Um, because you, you still have a true twin flame. They're still there for you. Um, but, but it does take time. Like I said, it does take time to go through that revealing process. They may be right in front of you and you're just not recognizing them because you're not, you're not really in tune with yourself. You haven't really done the, the inner work yet to, to kind of reveal that. And that's okay. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Uh, and I, it's really exciting. It's really exciting because you're getting to know yourself even more, right? Getting to know your twin flame is getting to know yourself. It's, it's the other part of you, you know? It's so cool. It's really, it's, it's sometimes it just blows my mind. Still, like, there's another person that's me. It's just me. It's just me and another body, right? It's the girl version of me. And it's so cool. Like, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for that. <laughs> the mirror work and the inner work is anything that's triggering you is, is what you feel through. And so, yeah, so let, let's, let's talk about the mirror exercise just, just because why not? So, the mirror exercise is what you do to identify your upsets with anything. Okay. So the first step that you do is you go, I'm upset because you, you're going to project your upset. So for example, I'm upset if my twin flame because they're not communicating with me. Step two, change it onto yourself. I'm upset with myself because I'm not communicating with myself. Okay, cool. Boom. Step three, you're fighting this part of you that you're not communicating with. It could be your inner child. It could be your intuition. Whatever it is, like what I like to do is like close my eyes and I picture and imagine this part of me. I feel them, right? A lot of the times it's my inner child that needs attention. So I go to him, okay? Step three, you're finding them and you're going to them. Step four, you're asking this part of yourself what they mean to feel loved right in that moment. And so there may be a memory that comes up or maybe it's just you right now in that moment. Okay, what do I need right now to feel loved? What do I need right now to feel loved? And you give that to yourself because this part of you will tell you, it may say, I need reassurance. I need you to listen to me. I need you to help me with this. I need you to give me a hug. I need you to give me ice cream, chocolate, whatever that is. Give that to yourself until they're completely peaceful. Until you feel completely peaceful is the goal. Okay. When you feel completely peaceful, you're going to imagine this part of you merging back with you. And then boom, you've completed the mirror exercise. Okay. If you want to know more about the mirror exercise in Twin Flames, get the book Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover by Jeff and Shalia. It's on the Amazon. It has the mirror exercise in it in depth and very, very other very juicy things. So I'll give the book. It's cheaper than gas. <laughs> Um, it should be more than gas because of the value that it has in it. But if you can afford gas, you can afford the book. I have sex. I'm choosing others over me. Not true. And there is some truth in it. What you have to identify your upset. What are you upset about? What are you upset about? I'm upset at my twin flame because what is it? If you have no feeling, then what should I do? Ask yourself why you're afraid to feel your feelings. Cause if you're numbing out to your feelings, yeah. Yeah. Then you wouldn't be able to feel, you wouldn't be able to you do the mirror exercise because you can't feel yourself. Okay. So what are your feelings towards emotions? Are you scared of them? Do you numb them out because you were taught to not have emotions or to not express your emotions, right? That's where you should start looking. You can also say, I choose to feel my feelings and that will help bring up your feelings more, but it just sounds like a deeper inner issue that you have to sort through and work through. And the more that you do that, the more you'll be, you will be able to feel. You won't be numbed out forever. So you're upset that somebody married somebody else. So that's, I'm upset because I'm with myself, right? Or do you go deeper? Why are you upset that he married somebody else? Well, yeah, I mean, God chooses everyone to be a twin flame because they are. Everybody has a twin flame. Yeah, so that's what you have to get clear on. Because if you're not clear on what you're upset about, then you can't really heal. 
What about souls like Jesus and Yogananda? So Jesus's twin flame was Mary Magdalene and Yogananda's twin flame was, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was their, I think it was like their, their spiritual teacher, Siri, 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 it started with an S. I don't know, but if you if you know Yogananda, you'll probably know who I'm talking about. But I know I think their name started with an S. But that was their twin flame. So yeah, they both had twin flames. Jesus and Mary Magdalene. It's very beautiful. Yes, thank you, Sadie. That's I I believe that is Yogananda's twin flame. Um, I I don't I honestly don't remember. I know that Jeff and Shalia talked about this, but I think that's who it is. But don't quote me on that. Jeff and Shalia know more about that than I do. But I know that Jesus and Mary Magdalene were twin flames. Okay, yes. So my spiritual routine. Well, I get up, you know, I'm very I'm very chill with myself. And and so a spiritual routine also is a scheduled routine. So uh making time in your schedule for yourself, right? Uh normally either it's either when I wake up or go to bed, I meditate. But I meditate, I you know, I eat obviously eating a good meal is good for your spiritual health. But and then I like do my inner work. And then I don't really find like specific times to do inner work i do it when i'm upset but i do have like a portion in the day where i will go over my my inner work and do that um if i haven't like find anything i'm upset about um but normally i am upset about something every day and it's not it's not bad it's not bad to be upset it just means you're working through that uh and I'll, or i'll watch like your twin flame essential school class i'll watch a uh, life purpose class like on my days off that's what i do and i'll have sessions in between you know i'll do this i'll do stuff for my business and for my work but if i'm working it's more like i wake up i meditate do some inner work eat go to work come home like check it with myself again do maybe a little bit of work and then we go to bed uh it's not about waiting like it doesn't it doesn't matter how long it takes to reunite with your twin flame you're already reunited you're already together. You're just releasing the belief that you're not together. You're releasing separation. So don't wait. Like like I said, I always say this too. Don't wait for your union. Don't reach out and try to get it. Recognize that your union is right now in this moment. And be happy. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Okay? But do things that make you happy. Do things that you enjoy. Live your life purpose. Right? Love yourself. Eat good food. Like clean your house, fix your house. If you know who your twin flame is, do you still date others while being single? I I don't recommend dating other people if you do know who your twin flame is. Like if you unequivocally 150% know that this person is your twin flame, don't date other people because it's not going to, it's not going to like help your journey at all. If if you really do um, want to be your twin flame, just, just be single and work on yourself and attract your twin flame. But if you're if you don't really know if that person is your twin flame or not, if you're not 150 percent sure and you're being invited to explore somebody else, do that, right? Because that person could could be your twin flame. Um, and you just don't know it. And that, that person could not be. And then they reveal that and you go, okay, yeah, so now I'm more clear this person is my twin flame than I was like looking at before. So it's okay to explore, but don't do it. Like I wouldn't, I, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing it if you know who your true twin flame is. You're 100, percent 50 percent sure. And if, if they're dating too, like uh, it, they are, they are just they're they're mirroring something to you. You know, my twin flame has been with other people also, and I and I haven't dated right. And so it's yeah, he even told you that your twin flame. So yeah, so so just focus on healing the separation. You know, it's uh, it's okay. It's okay to just focus on yourself and heal that separation. Um, and allow yourself to go through the process and through the journey and it'll just, it'll distract him. And like, even if, even if you were to date other people, you would just be experiencing contrast. You know, it's not going to be a, a nice, a nice thing. You know, you're going to experience the contrast and go, Oh yeah, no, this is not what I want. I'd rather just want my, I just want my twin flame. Let me do that. Just focus on you. It doesn't matter if your twin flame is married either. You, if you guys don't have twin flame ascension school, like I would, I literally would recommend that you that you get it and watch the classes because there is a student inga and she met her twin flame when she was really young and then they went off and they married other people okay and so she was in twin flame ascension school and she worked through like a lot of separation and he was still married she was getting she was getting divorced um and then he ended up getting divorced and then they were together 
Okay. So it doesn't matter if your twin flame is married to somebody else or if they're with somebody else. Like if you honestly and genuinely do the spiritual work, it's not going to last. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter the situation. It doesn't matter whatever's going on on the outside. Cause most of the, most of the stuff that we're experiencing on the outside is really just an illusion. It's really just mixed up and jumbled up things within ourselves. And once we heal that and come into alignment within ourselves in that place, then the thing on the outside changes. It changes. Our outside aligns to us. That's why, you know, the law of attraction, all of that, it's 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 true thing. Like how you feel inside is what you manifest outside. And so if you're feeling a lot of love and you're feeling, you know, one with God, one with yourself, one with your twin flame, you're going to ex be experiencing a lot more of that. But if you're not feeling one with yourself, you're not feeling really good, blah, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't work, right? Your, your twin flame, it's not that they can't be in your life or you can't attract them. It's just that that vibration will just cause disharmony in your relationship. And so, yeah. And so as you heal, you're, you're allowing more harmony to come into your relationship. Because like I said before, the twin flame journey is not just about your twin flame. It's about everything. It's about everything, your life purpose, yourself, your finances, your family, right? Like say, if you wanted to have children or, you know, your twin flame has children or you already have children. Uh, your house, like every, every area in your life improves drastically. Oh, that's awesome. And little child, my twin flame has children too. Two, two children. Everybody has a twin flame. Um, and if you look in the twin, like our Facebook group, you will see that there is actually a lot of people that have come back from separation from their twin flame and are now in union. So maybe you're just not looking in the right places and not, and that's not bad. It's not bad. But, you know, here at Twin Flames Universe, like we, we have success stories. We have people coming back into union that were in separation. You know, we have people finding their twin flames from across the country and coming in and moving together with them and starting a family with them, right? Like we have, we have twin flames that are together and have a children together, you know, um, it, it's completely possible, but it, it, you also have to remember too, like of who do you surround yourself with, right? Who do you surround yourself with? Do you follow twin flame people that are in separation and, and they're teaching separation consciousness? Or do you follow us that we're not teaching separation consciousness? And there's a lot of twin flames coming together. So all the tools that you need is right here. Um, you can go to the link in our bio and download the free introductory course. It's free and it will get you started. Um, also, if, just if you haven't bought twin flames, finding your ultimate lover on Amazon, buy that. Go to our Facebook open form. It's twin flames universe. You can join that. And uh, come have your support. Well, I mean, even if everybody has a twin flame, doesn't mean that the person they were with was their twin flame. Yeah, I mean that. Like, yeah, Jeff and Shalia are the the comes the you know God's will. They are the the shining like piece of and the demonstration of twin flames and harmonious unity and what like your life can look like. You know, we we can have the same life as Jeff and Shalia. You know, that there are teachers for a reason. There are role models for a reason because they're teaching us that, yes, you can do it. Yes, you can do it because we did it. If you look at their story, like, do you genuinely look at their story and where they are and how far they come? You're going to, you're like, holy crap. You know, like if you guys don't know Jeff and Shalia's story or you've, you haven't really been following them for a long time. So Jeff and Shalia were separated, right? Um, I think Shalia was living in Canada at the time. Jeff was in Hawaii. They met online, they met, and they were in union. Boom, okay? Uh, they used to be really poor. Okay, Jeff, they drove a car that it, they had to have the windows open so the fumes wouldn't kill them, okay? They lived in the ghetto where, you know, someone shot bullets through their front door and they didn't really feel safe, okay? Um, that's where they used to be. That's where they used to be, right? Poor, broke, scared, driving a car that can kill them not having any direction or, or sense. Um, but they had each other and they had God and they had their life purpose and the vision and they chose to do that. Okay. They chose to do the work because they do the rear exercise too. And look where they're at now, right? They live in a beautiful house. They have a beautiful family, right? They just, they have their daughter grace, um, that they've been wanting forever. Oh my God. Um, like seven years they've been manifesting her and they weren't even sure if she was going to come either. Um, but so they had to surrender it all, but they, but again, they live in a nice house. They have a beautiful life. Their, their health is, is really nice. You know, 
they they're with they're married right married true tune flames okay and they're not for anymore and so if they can do it like we can do it too and that's all that they're showing us and so yeah you don't have to settle for being in separation from your twin flame don't look gilbert you can have it all you can have all of your heart's desires it's never impossible nothing nothing is impossible from god from god nothing is impossible with god Okay, if you do it with God, you will have it. Period, you will have it. That's my little, that's my little spiel. Don't let what's going on in your reality stop you. Don't let it discourage you. Don't let it use steer you off the path. Stay on the path, have faith, be persistent, and you will have your idiot. You will have it. You will be with your twin flame. You will marry your twin flame. And, and so as I'm saying this, right? You are with your twin flame right now. You are spiritually married to your twin flame. You are in truth and union and perfect union with your twin flame. All as you're recognizing um, and healing right now is that separation, is the belief that you were separate in the first place from them. Okay? So you already have it. You already have everything. Everything that you desire in your heart, everything that you that you feel in your vision, it's already yours. God has created that for you. And so you can trust in that and trust that that vision will be manifested if you take the path sincerely, if you love yourself, if you allow God to guide you, it will happen. 150% without doubt. Without doubt. Do they know there are twins? So like your twin flame does know. And and not in the way that you expect, right? They may not know the, the word twin flame. They may not have like the complete understanding, but they know in some way. Like your twin flame is you. So if you're aware of it, they are aware of it also. And so they're also on the revealing process of you being their twin flame. They're revealing you too. And so it's important to recognize that. It's important to realize that they're not separate from you in that space. Your twin flame is just as awakened as you. They know about the connection, the connection just as much as you. Even if they don't show it, even if they don't say it, trust that because that's the truth. Like I said before, in the very beginning, you are one consciousness with your twin flame. You're one with them. That's the beauty of it. So anything in your consciousness and is automatically in theirs, whether or not they're they're like conscious of it or not. So there's no need to worry. There's no need to try to convince your twin plane or go, ah, yeah, I gotta I gotta find I gotta find out if if uh, if he knows that we're twin flames, so then I can validate that. No, like give yourself that validation. Give yourself that knowing. Your twin flame is always thinking about it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter if they're in, a, in another relationship. I can guarantee that they think about you. I can guarantee that you cross their minds. If like, think about it this way. Imagine how far we, we tried to connect, to forget about our twin flames, right? Maybe before you found this work. I like, before I found this work, I literally tried to force myself to not think about my twin flame or, or not, not have myself reminded of her. Even now, sometimes I'm like, what would it, what would it be like if I could just, forget about her just for ha-ha's right not because i want to do that but it it I, I wouldn't be able to i wouldn't be able to i can't i can't it's not something that i can do because she's right here <laughs> she's right there she's in me okay and so imagine that's how we feel so imagine how they feel it's the same exact way it doesn't matter you know my twin flame told me too like when we were when we were in separation for like this short phase where we didn't talk and she's like i thought about you every day you know even if even when i was with this other person i thought about you like i couldn't get you off my mind it doesn't matter if i was with them i, I just wanted you and so they may not say that to you right you you may not have that send but it doesn't mean that it's not true because that's the truth and even if they're in another, another relationship that's not the truth don't recognize that as the truth because it's not um, it's a choice if you connect with your twin flame fully or not in this lifetime. Like it doesn't, it doesn't serve to think about, oh, how many twin flames don't choose to be together? Because then you're just giving into like separation consciousness. Just choose to be with your twin flame. Choose to be with your twin flame no matter what. No matter what the circumstances on. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if my family didn't like my twin flame. I don't care. I, I wouldn't care if my twin flame was 20 years old older than me i wouldn't care if she lived across the country i wouldn't care if she's with somebody else i wouldn't care if she had children i don't care i'm choosing my twin flame i'm choosing her because that's what i want that's what i desire i don't i'm not going to sell for anything less i'm not going to do that to myself 
So if I have to work hard, I have to keep choosing that to have my union, I will. But, but nothing can get in the way of that. Nothing can get in the way of that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what's happening on the outside. Do not give into that. Do not let it fool you because it's not real. It's not real. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't, don't let your mind get jumbled up in the story. Just focus on the inner healing. Just focus on that. What upsets you about what they're doing and heal that. My twin flame is with somebody else. Why does that upset me? That upsets me because when my twin flame is with somebody else, I don't feel, I feel not good enough. Okay, so heal that. Love this part of you that doesn't feel good enough for love. And you'll begin to feel good enough. You'll begin to attract your twin flame. I'm upset because my twin flame is not choosing me. It's actually, I'm upset. I'm upset because I'm not choosing myself. It's true. It's true. You could say, I don't know. I often miss true. It is. It is true because you're not giving yourself attention. You're focusing on your twin flame. It is true because you're not giving yourself the love that you need. You're trying to get it from your twin flame. So stop doing that. Just love yourself. It's easy and simple. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be hard. It can be really, it can be really loving. This journey can be really fun. You know, it's only hard when you believe that it's hard. It's only hard when you are trying to get something. When you're trying to get your union. What should you do? You should do the inner work. Start the journey. Download the free introductory course. Don't lose hope. If you're waiting for them, you are, you're waiting for your union. That's what you're going to perpetuate. You're going to be waiting for them forever. Start seeing your union now. Start choosing your union now. Start having that mindset now. Don't wait. Don't wait for your twin flame to be happy. Don't wait for them to come up and save you. Don't wait for them to give you something that you could give yourself. Anything that you want from your twin flame, you can give to yourself. Yeah, if you're choosing to speak with other people, then she's going to mirror that to you. I'm choosing to look for love outside of myself. She's going to mirror not wanting to be with you because you don't want to be with yourself. You don't want to give yourself love. You're trying to get it from somebody else. No, you can send them love. You can send them love in your heart. You can express the admiration from them. That's good, starry galaxy cat. Keep choosing yourself. Just choose yourself. That's it. Stop thinking about your twin flame. Stop giving all your energy there. Because that's just going to draw them away more. It's going to draw them away from you even more. Focus on you. Focus on loving you. And that will attract them. Focus on your attraction. Right? Attract them. Focus on making yourself more attractive. And don't, don't be confused with, oh, I have to look pretty. Or I have to look handsome. And go to the gym and get all these things. No. It's focus on making your soul attractive. Focus on making your inner attractive. That's what attracts your twin flame, is your inner, how you feel. Focus on that. And they will come. Always. Every single time. What's the difference between divine feminine and divine masculine? So the divine, the divine masculine is giving, right? The, the, when they give, that's when they're most fulfilled. The divine feminine is receiving. When they receive, that's the most fulfilled. Also, it doesn't matter if you're in a female body or a male body. You can be the divine feminine in a masculine body. And you can be the divine masculine in a feminine body. It does not matter. It's your soul. Whatever like you were born with, it doesn't determine if you're the divine feminine or the divine masculine. Um, it's about how your soul is. But maybe you start, if you're not really sure, start with what you like. Do you like giving or do you like receiving? Those are things that you can start with. And you could ask yourself these questions. And, and then ask yourself, what do I do that makes me the most fulfilled? And then you'll know. Yeah, it's okay if you don't let your twin flame allow the revealing process to happen. If you're going back and forth between two people, it's fine. Um, but the way that you're going to have that revealed to you is by just doing the inner work, by just attracting them, right? You, when you focus on yourself and you're not worried about the outside or like, excuse me, being with your twin flame or attracting them and you're just loving you up, focusing on you, focusing on your vibration, you will attract your true twin flame anyways. It'll happen anyways. Yeah, just just be in mind. Be mindful. Of that. All right, guys. Well, I definitely feel it's time to ooh time to wrap up. I'm gonna pull a card for us. Then I feel like we needed it. Oh wow, Sammy, that's beautiful. That's funny too. I had a little singing there. July 12th is my twin flame's birthday. That's so funny. So congratulations. That's amazing. So glad you're here, Sammy. Make sure you stay. Make sure you get in touch with us. I love that. That's beautiful. So surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. 
focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Yeah. So surrender fear, right? Stop giving into ego. Stop giving into the illusions. Remember the truth, the truth of your twin flame union. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining. Please, if you haven't already, download the free introductory course. It's in our bio. It's free. Free. Okay. If you haven't, please do. The, it, you will be supported. It will That little course alone will change your life. Okay. Make sure you go to our Facebook page and join Twin Flames Universe Open Forum. Join. Say hello. Ask questions. Connect with us. Okay. Connect with us on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, Twin Flames Universe. Follow Jeff and Shalia on YouTube. They make amazing videos too, okay? Don't, you're not alone in this journey. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to struggle or be, be or stay in separation. You can be with your union, with, uh, with your Twin Flame union in this lifetime. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. It's completely possible. I promise, okay? All right. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you next Monday at 1 p.m. EST. Bye, guys.